Copy of the Leo volume of the Tevat Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Leo volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Monster volume was so interesting! Bummer. The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? My pleasure, fellow book lover!
I've had my heart set on getting hold of a copy of Legend of the Shattered Halberd, Volume 6, for the longest time now. Frankly, I'd be willing to do whatever it takes to get my hands on that book. If this book can be found, it will be nothing far away. Heavens are smiting me, smiting me to smithereens. Uh huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leo e volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic-defining masterpiece. 
Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes, it is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again? But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. <sighs> so, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey! Where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here!
Oh, you like reading, huh, Mr. Five-Second Hero? Oh, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello? Xingqiu? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. <sighs> How can they bully poor old Cheng the Knife like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple! Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I meant every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. Of course I do. An initial plan, anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. Would you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Goo Hua Clan. That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon! Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> It's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all. But you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guhua buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Are you here to play with me? No, my sword! Let me amuse myself. Over here! Just body and mind. I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision! You won this round, but you better watch your back! This isn't over! Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute. 
but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. He mentioned Gentry Maltai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, so that's how that turned out. This whole passage is just... extraordinary. Ugh, this guy is so annoying! Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face! <laughs> Fine, but as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known as... Guwa Geek! Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The Master is dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. Please, believe me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Master is currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My Master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paima never knew you were such a tough negotiator. <laughs> Paimon loves compliments and all, but treating Paimon to some tasty snacks would show that you really mean it. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinyue Kiosk. Seems business is booming at the Shinyue Kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful.
Finally, a seat with a view. I understand. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Cuisine is inedible. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege, for reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh. This writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, hence why I said there's no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big big commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. Gentry Mautsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Chain the Ninth, right? 
to silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the Guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Hey! Stop ignoring Paimon! We come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm, yes. The script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion, where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mount Tsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Mount Tsai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liyue is huge. Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Chang the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many more! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Leoli Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. To Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First, the sellers and. Hi! 
Hi, anything I can do for you? You want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. That said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Good day, my friend. Uh, my apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnayan products. No, that I still have, although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Clearly no shortage of cash flow in the air. Keep your voice down. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need. But all of it would be far more than you actually want. Fe a Feiyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. <laughs> this is going well. Everything's so much easier when you've got stacks of Mora. Next stop, the chasm.
Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the core lapis stock in Liu Harbor. As it happens, I do have a batch of core lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do is... 7 million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than 100,000 mora on the rest of Liyue's stock put together! I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. You can take it or leave it, so if you're not buying, please leave me alone. All right, all right, we'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, <laughs> surely there's no need for that. Please, don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I don't want any trouble with the guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So, maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, I do hope to carry on doing business in Liu in the future. That's that, then. Well, no time to lose. Come on! Make a note of the location. 
information. We'll send the Fayum Commerce Guild to collect it later. That guy said there were five cards in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting for poor little Paimon. He definitely owes Paimon some snacks. All five of them! Can you sell us the Core Lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss for me. To Chang the Ninth's place! Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry Mount Size Thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? What happened? Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade too. So, you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Y you mean you're not trying to force the price down? Wh what what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven? I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But gentry mount-sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. If Paimon told you they're not gonna bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not gonna bother you again. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. Now I can get back everything I lost. Thank you. 
Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halberd and Ominous Sword, Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Mautzai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Gentry Mautzai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> You clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please. Seize their Corlapis! Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off! The core lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. What are you saying? Master, 
Everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D don't go. Wait. Master, wait! My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young woman, I am unscathed. My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Mautzai, coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? <laughs> How dare you subject me to such viciousness! This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground! Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? I... I, I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny-speaking, book-reading, guhua-geeking, Tsing Cho are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? Twas but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. <laughs> Very droll. My family can always tell me from my handwriting. It's certainly one of my distinguishing features. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <laughs> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> save me! Save me! This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not a drill! Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Ah, uh, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants.
Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that Guhua rascal had swindled me. Do people really look down on the Guhua clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiao, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the one... Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you wanted the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. It's yours to keep. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Uh, what? What was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh, nothing, nothing. That little rascal surely isn't.